Welcome to this week's Longhorn Minute. I'm Austin American Statesman columnist Cedric Golden with my cohort Kirk Bowles. Uh, Kirk, a lot of stuff to get to today. Uh, let's start out with the uh, 58-14 win over Rice. Impressive. Enough about that. Let's talk about Kansas State. <laughs> um, is this a revenge game after last season's 45-42 loss where Colt McCoy was knocked out of the game? It better be. You know, even though on Monday every player to a man and Coach Brown denied that it was a revenge game, you know it's got to be plastered all over the locker room. And if they do beat Kansas State, you know they say, we were so jacked up after they ruined our season last year. So absolutely, I think it's a revenge game, and I think it plays into the motivation. And why aren't the players saying that? Uh, is, are they afraid to say it's a revenge game, or is, or is it just something? Uh, Mac also mentioned that you don't want to look back to the last season to uh, you know motivate his team, but you got to think in the back of their minds that they're thinking of you know. Yeah, but when are the players ever truthful? You know, they say what the coaches want them to say. That's what it is. So. That's true. That's true. Well, we we can tell the truth on some things. Let's we can. talk. Let's talk about the Longhorn Minute at Statesman.com. We have some uh, viewers that sent in some emails, and we're going to read a couple today. Uh, Kirk, you want to start off? Yeah, I've got a letter from uh, Sam Jackson who writes, The start time for the OU game was announced as a 2.30 p.m. kickoff for October 6th. The LSU-Florida game is that same day and could have been a 2.30 start had CBS not opted to make it a primetime contest. I don't think the Texas OU game has ever been played at night, and I was wondering why. Well, I, I have an opinion on it. I, I don't. I don't know if it's ever been played at night either. But uh, I've been to the Cotton Bowl, and uh, for those of you who have been to the Cotton Bowl and been in that area, it's a uh, it's a nice venue and everything. But let's just say that a 2:30 uh, p.m. start is probably mo most beneficial to the uh, people surrounding the Cotton Bowl, the fans, and uh, most important, the uh, local authorities. Are you saying it's not the best in neighborhoods? Uh, I'm not. I'm not saying it's not the best and it's not the worst, but uh, it's a great neighborhood at 2:30 p.m. <laughs> you got a letter? Uh, yeah, I've got one. Uh, our viewer Darren Prince writes: uh, Do you think Oklahoma is as good as the media is saying? No, I think they're probably better. You know, I I, I think they are one of three great teams right now: Oklahoma, LSU, USC. Maybe West Virginia and Florida right on the fringe, but Florida was pressed by Ole Miss, so. I definitely think OU is the best, and that's the standard Texas is trying to shoot for this very, Saturday. Very good. Well, um, that'll be it for today, but I do have a bone to pick with you. You do? Yeah. What's I read that? earlier this week about a column you wrote about Mike Gundy, and uh, I think it oh. was garbage. Oh. Well, you know. Why go after Mike Gundy? Come after me. I'm 41. Come after me. Sorry. I mean, I didn't mean to criticize Mike. It won't happen again, I promise. Good, good. Well, for the record, I agree with everything you wrote oh, in that okay. column. Thanks. So uh, that's all for now. And uh, if you want to email us for a uh, maybe a free copy of The Perfect Drive, a look back at the 2005 season, email us at longhornminute at statesman.com. For Kirk Bowles, I'm Cedric Golden. And uh, uh, heads up to Jenny Carlson. Uh, keep doing what you're doing. Thanks a lot.